Well, hello there, Josh here for Lofty Sites. In today's tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to create a post. So first of all, what is a post? A post is really anything. It could be an article, a photo, video, or a combination of those things that's put into some sort of a stream. So if you think about uh, social media, for example, whether it's Facebook, Twitter, or Instagram, essentially what you're doing every time you update those things is creating a post. And those posts are organized into a stream usually starting with the most current post and then kind of working its way backwards in time. So pretty much any other publication online, whether it be a magazine or a blog or anything like that, are organized into posts. And in WordPress, posts are organized in a way that allows you to sort through them through different categories, tags, dates, and authors. And there's also a search function that allows you to search through posts using keywords. And finally, posts all have a unique URL which allows them to be linked on other sites or social media so that people can find your content and go to it and read it or watch it and enjoy it. So to create a post, you go up here to New and click Post. And that'll bring you to this new post editor. Uh, you can also, over here, let's go back to the dashboard, you can go to post and add new. So that's another way to get here. So I'll just go ahead and enter a post here. My day at the beach. And after you type in your title, you're gonna see two things happen. You'll see that this permalink here was created and you can actually edit that if you'd like. If you wanna call it maybe just day at the beach, you can do that. And you'll also notice that there was a draft that was saved. And so WordPress does a pretty good job of auto-saving your work as you go, so that in case you accidentally close your browser or maybe your laptop runs out of battery, your work will be saved. I can't guarantee that it's always gonna do that, but in my experience, it's done a pretty good job of saving my content. So down here is the content editor, and it works very similar to other word processing applications. And we'll go over these tools in just a second. But first, I just kind of want to take a look around at the different panels that we have. So there's this publish panel over here where you can save a draft, you can preview it, publish it, and that will make it live on your site. And it shows you some other information as well. Down here is the format type, and we'll go over that later. Below that, categories. Every post has to have at least one category type. If you don't specify a type, it's just going to assign it this uncategorized um, category type. So uh, again, we'll talk about more about categories later along with tags. Tags are optional. You can have one, zero, or, you know, I don't know, maybe a million, I'm not sure. But you could have tons of different tags if you'd like to use tags. And the featured image is the featured image that will show on your index page on the post page it'll be the image at the top and also social media that will be the image that is shown if this post is being shared on um, different types of social media if you click the screen options you can see that you actually have a number of other boxes that you can add and you can click these and by default they will be added below this content editor uh, you also have the option to change this to a one column or two column layout uh, you can see if I choose one column, it's just all in one column, and these boxes that were here have moved below. And that might be useful if you're working on a smaller screen. All right, and I also want to draw your attention to this distraction-free writing mode. So if you click that, that's actually going to just make all the other stuff go away so you can focus just on writing, which is a really great feature. Back to the content editor, like I said, it's very similar to other word processing applications that you've probably used. And I'm actually going to go into the details of all of these buttons in a, another tutorial. But very important to note that this button at the end here actually toggles on and off more options. So that's good to know about. But basically, I'm just going to create some quick text here. And just to show you how easy it is to create a post, we'll go ahead and preview it first. And as you can see, we have a title, My Day at the Beach, and here's some text. This is a test post. So this is a preview. It's not published yet. Um, it is saved, um, but we can act actually officially save the draft here. If we want to come back to it later and publish it, then we would find it listed here in All Posts. 
Here you'll see a list of all your posts and you can see that we have a draft saved. So if we go back into it, we can actually publish it. And now this would be public on our site. So if we want to make additional changes, we can do that. These are some, eh. okay, and we can preview those if we want to preview it first before we actually make it live. Okay, and then we can update from there. You can also add media, so this is where you would add pictures, videos, things like that. And we're going to go ahead and cover that in more detail in another post, so we won't worry about that right now. But as you can see, it's pretty simple to create a post. And so again, if we go back to our website, we can see that it's been updated with the latest post with the older posts right here below it. So that was a very basic tutorial on how to create a post. In future tutorials, we'll go into the other aspects of posts, like how they differ from pages, the categories that you can use and the tags that you can use, as well as some of those advanced features in the content editor. But as you can see, creating a WordPress post is pretty simple. So that was creating a WordPress post. If you have any questions, you can always reach out to us at support at loftysites.com. And I hope you all have a great day. Thanks.